Alright. Right, okay. Are you I apologise for my pizza breath. Um, ready? God, that was a big pizza. Yeah, come on. It oh, was sure. huge. Massive pizza. Roger, Roger, on Union 121. 34, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4, are you in route to the battery? Suspect 318, 3rd Street. Roger, it's on your screen. 318, 3rd Street. Head. Into the parking lot. Hello and welcome to Covert Coaching. My name is Joshua Lee Graham. I'm here with Mark Daniels and Mr. Richard Willett. And today on Covert Coaching, we are talking about getting naked. Mark, talk to me about getting naked. (laughs) Well, getting naked can mean so many different things, can't it? It's not all about stripping your clothes off. It's about it's about being present. It's about being authentic. It's about being, you know, just honesty. Um, It's it's just about. Um, stripping back all of the false ego yeah. and that sort of thing. So. The clothes of ego. There you the go. Clothes yeah, of yeah, ego. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I'm just thinking Normally there's probably a lot of people have tuned into us thinking that there's three men going to get their clothes off now. So it might be. A, stay I don't, stay but then tuned. Again, now they're it tuned might in, they're probably not that disappointed. I was going to say it's yeah. not going to be disappointing. It might have turned some people away actually. Yeah. 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 So work. if you're watching this, you perv. There you go. You heard it here first. So, guys, <laughs> oh, okay. when we're when, when we're talking about being naked, it's that you know, it's that ability to, you know, be prepared to put yourself in front of people, particularly if you're you know if you're in an industry where you're a business owner or you know you're you're a speaker, a coach, or wh- whatever, um, any sort of industry where you're trying to get more clients, the more transparent you are. Um, realistically the more impact that you're going to have because you know it's easy to put on a front okay it's very easy to just highlight the good things that are happening in your life and you know how I made you know a million dollars in a week but what (laughs) what really what really connects to people people buy on emotions and then they justify things on logic so if you're if you're connecting with people, if you want people to buy your products or you know or to or to buy whatever it is that your your service is, you have to be willing to get naked. And this is going back to again nothing we spoke about, which was the bits you wouldn't put in your biography. Yeah, yeah, yeah? we said that. And, and if the bits you wouldn't yeah. put in your bio- <clears throat> biography go against what what you stand for, about against your mission statement, all that sort of stuff, then yeah, you know, obviously you're yeah, it, it's a it's that front and this is what we're talking about getting naked stripping that back and actually would you be prepared to put your full life story everything you've ever done in your biography yeah um not sure what just happened there but don't worry about that um but yeah would you be would you be happy to put everything that you've done in your life in your biography yeah. would you be proud of those bad moments where maybe you made wrong decision you've done the wrong thing and put that in there and tell people what they can learn from it and the, the value that you could give there rather than yeah. pretending it never happened and hoping no one ever finds out mm. and they do eventually they do find out especially if Normally. you're going to be a it depends if what you're going into if you're going to be a businessman and actually just run a business on a small scale might not find out but if you're going to be famous and be a big name and all of this as we've found out over the last few years out, yeah it will yeah. come out everything um, everything comes back to haunt you as it, it were and uh, haunt you, yeah. and it's and yeah get naked be um be authentic be happy to stand on stage tell everybody on you know everything that there is answer the questions that are asked don't you know if you feel you've got to tiptoe around subjects and things like that then yeah. maybe that's not this, your this, this is a big thing with with what we do as well because obviously one of the things that we have at success for is our meat series so successful meats and we've literally turned people away who have said you know ask this question or that you know the, these sort of questions because what we love to do on our you know particularly in our successful meat series is to be able to ask people anything mm-hmm. and when people put restrictions then we don't feel as though we're able to give you guys the best value as well so yeah. you know as as we said every everything we do is you know there's transparency there's you know there's honesty as well with it and i i think that is our you know our willingness to get naked is our willingness to you know show show the bad as well as the good um that has taken us to to a completely new level um what i what i see a lot of is people get you know people are encouraged to share their story or whatever but they get 
caught up at that stage so it's constantly just sharing the story um they're not actually providing value at the end of it they're not providing a solution they're saying you know i've, d I've done this but the the how to is the most important thing so if you're going to be sharing your story you know you you know kudos to, for, for doing it you know putting yourself out there and doing it but have you got a solution that is implementable to other people and if you do then that right there is what's gonna you know is, is what, yeah, yeah. It's, it's what's yeah. gonna separate you from other people and i think we've seen that a lot with like just going back to the podcast you're talking about where people you know want to be want want to be interviewed but they they've got a list of questions could you ask me about yeah. this could you ask yeah, me about yeah, yeah. This? please don't yeah and we, we do always ask people out politeness yeah. is there anything you don't want us to talk about you know yeah. if they're just you don't want to talk about their family if someone's yeah. just passed away you don't want to talk about you know things like that but if if we had some you know if we've had someone come along who's like right i can't talk about this can't talk about this can't talk about this yeah, yeah. please don't ask me about this because that's you know something that happened years yeah, ago yeah um it sort of puts us off doing a podcast with them because yeah. you know we, we, we want, want people we, yeah, to be authentic we, we want it, yeah well, and we want it to be different because you know if you're you know no no disrespect to certain people but if you listen to you know one of you know one of their interviews from you know five you know five ten years ago and it's the same interview that you would hear today then that's yeah. that you know that w there's no value in in what we're doing for that so you know we approach things from a different angle we ask you know questions a lot of people you know w when when they first you know talk, talk to us about doing the podcast they say oh you know are there, are there set questions and stuff we go through and you know, just confidently say no because we we liked a lot of it to just go from the heart connection. So you I know, think the, sometimes the podcasts, they go where they go. And if we were to record two different podcasts with the same person, I believe that they would be completely yeah, yeah, different. And I think this yeah. is the thing I was going to say was, I think sometimes you might listen to one of our podcasts and sort of think it wasn't. Yeah, it might be a little bit bitty sometimes, a little bit more, you know, unplanned, un, mm. you know, um, d just because this is exactly how we do it. We want, we want to just go with the flow. It's more of a conversation than it is a set out sort of podcast on, you know, asking certain questions and things like that. Because we we want we want it just to be bare bones. We want it to be natural. Right, we were, right, and, and that yeah. sort of thing. But you know, and and I think all of the podcasts you listen to where they are very structured and the questions are very leading questions and that sort of thing. Although they're great for uh, great to listen to, they're not always the most valuable because no, it, they're, what they're you're getting out of it probably be an advert for oh, yeah. so this question I can answer it now. And it way, isn't that yeah. person being naked. Yeah. It's that person So like Josh if you're coaching someone I know when I used to be a youth worker, there, there was a certain limit. You obviously couldn't talk about your own private experience because you were the professional there. As a coach, where is the line between getting naked and turning yourself inside out? Is there a line where you kind of, it's a professional relationship there? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's quite yeah. a sort of like a level there. You do need I don't to. Know there is. Is there? I don't know. That's what I was asking mm. you guys. Not, uh, not really. I mean, <laughs> with you know with, with with the way that i work personally it's you know it's, it's always going to be about the person in front of me and if there's a story or a situation that i've been through that i can connect to the point that i'm getting across i will more than happily share it um you know i'm always i'm always learning about myself as well within you know with, within every session that i have with a client um i learn about myself as much as i learn about them as well but as i said it's that you know it's it's that authenticity it's you know that you know it's the I'm you know I'm not afraid to to, to share to share stuff but because I know at the end of the day that that session is not about me it's not about what but I've been through at all. But there's that other line though isn't there if it isn't about you then maybe you put in your experience on that might actually not be appropriate for that person. Yeah, well, it's got to be appropriate. I mean? It's got to be appropriate yeah, yeah, at the time. Exactly, it's got to be. Yeah. It's just like I think like Josh said you know when you're when you're talking to somebody who's been through an experience if you've got a if you've got a similar situation you've been through not it's not just about comparing you know scars, scars yeah. it's it, it's about i've i've been through this here's an example of what i went through but this is also an example of how i dealt with it mm -hmm. and it worked for me i'm yeah. not saying it'll yeah. work for you but it's not you know we could try it sure, it's yeah. that sort of thing i, th I think when it comes to uh, you, you find that as well when, when you're when i'm in a session with someone if somebody if somebody will ask you okay what was what was your answer if i ask a certain question what was your answer to this and i will always i will always say this this was my experience this is what i took from it 
but that doesn't mean this is what you're meant to take away well, from it. What about if you don't know? What about if it's something you haven't had an experience with, that coaching client? Mm. If you're going to be honest and transparent, yeah. you have to say, I can't yeah, yeah, exactly. Again, exactly. That's again, part of the. That's, that's part of getting naked, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, Because it's not. It's not my job to be an expert on what my client is an expert on. Yeah. Okay. So you know, if I'm if I'm coaching somebody who's in the IT industry, doesn't need, mean that I need to be an expert in IT. And you know, I will end up asking him questions about you know uh, uh, about that line of work because I don't know that line of work. And I quite happily admit there are a lot of things that I don't know, but. What I do know, what I'm do, you know, what I am good at is being able to help the person in front of me see things from a different perspective. So a lot of what we can do um, as coaches is content is content free. Although you tend to go into content, a lot of it is what you what you can do is content free because it's all about you know seeing things from a different perspective and yeah. you know there essentially there's no content in content worth knowing. But you 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 know and it's it's very easy to get sucked into to the story and the story that they have already created because they're only going to tell you something from their perspective anyway. Of course. So yes, a lot, sure. yeah, yeah, a lot of it is, yeah. you know, it's, it's that um, <clears throat> courage to say, I don't know, when you don't know something. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm gladly admit, I'm not an expert in everything. Um, and it's not my job as a coach to be an expert in everything. And I think a lot of it, I mean, I, I think, again, I think something we've spoken about previously is about what the difference between a coach and a therapist and a, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, I think with coaching, people have got problems from the past or they've got situations in the past or they've got things that prevent them from moving forward, which need to be dealt with. Yeah. That's not a coach's job. Sure. And that's really important. Oh, really important because I think a lot yeah. of coaches see themselves as therapists or yeah, yeah. And, and vice versa. It's dangerous. And, and it is quite dangerous. I think yeah. there are situations in the past that are preventing people from moving forward and we can give them ideas on how they can look at the situation, turn it into a positive and use that to move forward. So part of the coaching but, would be recommending a psychiatrist or a therapist. I mean, part of your oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, somebody. So if somebody's got something that's preventing them from moving forward, which is a, you know, which requires more than, um, more than what a coach's skill set should be. Yeah. I, th I think having again, having the, um, be, being able to say to somebody, I don't know. Mm. is something that you know, a lot of coaches, they, they want to be a jack of all trades, they want to be able to you know, deal with every problem out there, they want to sure. be, you know, and, and I think when, when coaches evolve and get better at what they're doing is when they start finding that niche and, and to start out with, everyone's just a coach, you yeah. know, they just want to work with certain people um, and I think, uh, I think you know, a good coach is probably turning away more people, more clients than they're taking on yeah. because they, they specifically want a certain type of client that yeah. they work with. That's their niche. Um, being able to say, I don't know, or being able to say, that's not within my remit and yeah. you need to go and speak yeah. to this person and things like that. And again, this is a bit what like mm. successful is all about is having a number of different coaches and, you know, and plus others who can deal with things from the past um, and being able to put you into contact with the right person, not just a coach. Being, you know, being able to somehow say to you that I, I think you've, you've got this that's really preventing you from moving forward. I'd love to work with you and move forward and build this business you're looking at building or whatever with you and work on that. Um, but before we can do that, you need to deal with this, mm -hmm. and this is the best person to yeah. go and see. And that, I think that's yeah. Really, yeah, really important. Yeah, mm, I, I'm important. I'm an introverted person, and you know I'm not very much out there. And small talk is very difficult for me. Hence the reason why, when I'm you know when I'm coaching, I'm I'm not very good at small talk. But when I you know when I can get to somebody on a deeper level, making a connection and have a conversation there, I can talk all day. So you know, the it's a, a lot of it is you know you, you get people come to you and they you know they'll they'll have a front, but you can see through it, and you, they know you can see through it as well. So you don't spend a lot of time at that stage, you know, on on the surface level stuff. You're you you've got to be prepared to go deeper. So you know if that you know that there are there there are so many businesses out there there are so you know there's so many different different industries or whatever so to genuinely become a leader in your industry to stand out from everybody else you getting naked is going to separate you from everybody else you given that authenticity you really sharing who you are you know the bad as well as the good 
that is why people will go to you rather than Joe Bloggs who's doing the same sort of well, thing. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I think that people are afraid, afraid to do that. And, and in the past, I've been afraid to do that because you're afraid of rejection. But you'll get accepted by the people that you're supposed to be working with. You'll go down the route mm-hmm. you're supposed to be. But without that right eject, um, rejection, you'll end up all over mm. the place and, um, and not really landing anywhere. Well, so I've found, I've found it really find. important over the years, just like with staff I'm working with, just be completely open with them. Just mm. tell them everything that's going on. Um, you want them. I, I, all the staff within every business I've got, I want them involved in the business. I don't just want them as staff. You know, I always say everybody works with me. They don't yeah, work for yeah. me. You know, they're all part of the same team. We're all looking at a common goal. And and when it comes to, but when it also comes to the other side of it, which is the money side, which is what we're all in business for sharing the wealth you know making sure everybody benefits from it yeah. i don't let anyone do you know an amazing task and earn loads of money and then just take the rewards you know make sure they get the rewards as well um and i, I think yeah com- just being completely open with the staff and being honest with them has brought a lot of people on board who not just they, they don't just see it as an imp- a job they sure. see it as being part of the yeah, business yeah. and i think you do i think you attract that once you once you are open about it and um yeah, and I, and I think everything everything you do, I, I think a lot of it goes for, you know, not just business, not just coaching, personal life, friends, things like that. Trying to put up, you know, if, you, if you're within a group of friends that aren't really your, you know, and, and yeah. it's that we, thing, yeah. it's admitting you're yeah. growing apart. You know, if you've got yeah. a crowd around you who you've got absolutely nothing in common with anymore, yeah. admit it and find yeah. some you have. Yeah, yeah. yeah? We, we were we were listening to a um, we were listening to an audio, but we were what we were doing. We were talking about relationships and how you if you have a scar from a certain relationship, then obviously it just means that you you don't go anywhere near mm-hmm. anything like that that is going to cause you to feel you know if you've been hurt in a relationship you'll you'll never put yourself in a position where you'll allow somebody to even have the hurt chance to again. hurt you in that yeah. way so you avoid yeah. you know you, you avoid certain conversations you avoid you know certain sort of people if you think that they are going to you know end up hurting you but it's essentially you're you you're not dealing with it you're just mm-hmm. you know you, you're just sort of living above it so this doesn't just apply you know get getting naked doesn't just apply to you know business coaching whatever it applies to all areas of your life the the more you're willing to be open and be honest then the more the more you allow to you know to to attract into your life what what you know what it is exactly that you want um and again it's being willing to take a lesson from so if something doesn't work out whether that be business relationship um you know life whatever if something doesn't work out making sure that you're not just uh, like okay I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to do it again give yourself space give yourself time to say okay why didn't this work out okay what what is my lesson from this incident and if you're constantly learning lessons from something then it's worth going through any painful situation as long as you're willing to take the lesson because otherwise you will just go into another situation um, which is similar to that. So you say making the, you know, if you find yourself making the same business mistakes um, year after year after year, but you're not willing to, you know, go into depth and say, okay, why is this failing? You know, what is it here that I need to learn? What is it that I don't know? If it's the same with a relationship, if you're going from relationship to relationship, and you're not taking the time for yourself to say, okay, what is my lesson? What am I taking away from this? Then it will keep showing up. So there's like starts that you see a lot of people do in coaching. I mean, there's so many, and do, the honesty is that lacking from the start. But they're not honest. They don't want to be a coach. They just want to be like honest with themselves. I just want to be no, famous. Yeah. Well, yeah, I just want to be on stage. I want yeah. people to clap me. Mm. I want. I mean, I'm, that's blatant. I don't even explain that. That happens all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But the honesty isn't there from their point of view. So when they're getting clients, they're mm. not even being honest with themselves to start off with. It's it's it's. Yeah, ninety nine percent of it's being honest. I, I, I think I, we, I always comes back to the same being honest with yourself to start off with. Mm. It's it's knowing, um, are you capable? Are you, you know? Do you just want like you said? Do you just want to get your story out there? Yeah. Have you have you, did you have a solution to your story? You know, there's loads of people out there that just want to put their story out there, but they haven't got. Where's the value in it? Where's the you know the value what's the is bit at the them end to share in it? And that's, that's okay it. if that's what you understand. But as being, and then you go, I just like saying my bit, and I just want people to hear my story because mm-hmm. it makes me feel better. I don't see anything absolutely not wrong with that. Well, the only thing, the only thing wrong just, with that is nobody wants to. No, nobody cares. 
No. That, that is the problem. Yeah, of course People want to hear your story, and if they relate with that story, they want to understand how you dealt with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you were suffering, uh, whatever, uh, you know, addiction, they want to hear about how you got, yeah, you know, how you got out of that rut. Yeah. Um, they don't want to just hear that you were an, a drug addict once. Mm. Yeah, that, yeah, that doesn't give any value or anything, and and you can only get away with doing that for so long as telling that as your story and then it's like well there's no solution to this yeah, so yeah, sure. um there's no there's no value in it and I, again just being honest about have you have you got value to offer yeah. can can you actually coach somebody can you offer um you know, I, I try not to do personal coaching for that very reason my you know my skill is in the business coaching so I stick with that sure. and I don't do generally massive businesses I like to do new startups and things yeah. like that work on a one to one with you know sort of single business owners and that's mm. my niche that I, I aim for yeah. um, there's too many people out that just want to take on anybody who sure, yeah. wants to pay them some money and yeah. that's you know and again you been be honest with yourself can you honestly solve every problems out there or every situation or you can. know can you move everybody forward no and um, I think you deal with one, one something that's specific and and um, for you, like, mm. I, I like to create all the media. I wouldn't call myself a coach, but I do like to create the media. I want to teach people how to do what I do because I'm passionate about doing it. Yeah. I wouldn't do it in the first place. Yeah. Um, and I see the opportunities and everything, every little idea that people have. But that's because I'm passionate about it. But if I went and started trying to teach people then, how to do life skills, I don't yeah, think yeah. I think it would come across quite. It's not funny. just about being passionate about, it, though, is it? You've been and got a degree in it. You've yeah, been yeah, and, yeah, you've been true. doing it for years. You've, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're bloody good at what you do. You're quick at what you do, and you can see things that people just don't see you know mm -hmm. from a from a like cameraman point of view from a director's point of view yeah. um it's amazing how many times you know you've done stuff and you're you, you're filming something and you sort of we sit there and think well, bloody else you filming that for yeah, and then yeah. you know you I'm do sure something you do Barrel something rolls. with it it's like I, I would never have spotted spotted yeah, doing it that. Um, but that's but that's where you've going. that's where your skill set is and yeah, that's what you stick to that's what i stick to yeah. Yeah. yeah and like you say you don't try suddenly doing you know, life coaching or no. anything like that, and, and and this is where I think people need to. Well, when I do it, it comes across as very un unauthentic. Well, like it? I'm yeah. trying to be something yeah. like I'm not. Yeah. And this unless is... I inject some humour into it, it seems a bit. It seems obvious. I think, and I think anyway. that's what being naked's all about. Yeah, it's being yeah. authentic, um, and just yeah, living in your truth for it. So, Josh, yeah. what's the challenge for this week? Get naked, guys. Get naked. Okay. So, come up with a list of, of things that you know or whether it be something that's holding you back so again if it's life if it's business um if it's financial what's holding you back okay and just really sitting with it and being authentic with it just have a conversation whether that be a conversation with yourself um you know whether you whether you wanted to speak to us on a on a connect call um if it's you know if, if it's something related to obviously what we're doing then we're more than happy to have the conversations if it's a close friend or a family member that you trust um, maybe it's a friend or a family member that you need to have a conversation with that you've been putting off for a while so our challenge to you is to get naked in the way that you know that you have to get naked because you know as, as we're going through all of this you know something will be coming to mind and you'll think right okay I, need, I know I need to deal with this I know I need to deal with it that thing that you're thinking of deal with it okay um mm -hmm. as, as, as always guys we're successful global on all social media platforms like share subscribe let us know how you get on um and we will see you next week see you later guys cheers get naked <laughs> answer cool roger on union 121 34 one to 34 men for you in route to the battery subject 318 three.